So today we're going to do a video that is a little bit different. As you notice, you can't see my beautiful face and I apologize for that. Today we're going to do a video talking about writing lyrics. So we've done a video before on lyrics and vocals and kind of some tips that we could have given to anyone writing lyrics. I'll link that in the top corner if you're interested in it. But today I want to do a little bit of a different take on writing lyrics. Because rather than just giving tips or just giving a bit of advice or, oh, you could try this, oh, you could try this, why not just go through and kind of rewrite a set of lyrics that I've written and kind of show my thought process through writing those lyrics. I'm going to do a few of these videos, just going to do a few of these videos, so by the end of these set of videos you will hopefully get a better gist on how we write lyrics and how you can write lyrics. Because I guess there's a, a few different methods of writing lyrics and there's a few different things that you can do and depending on what kind of lyrics you're writing, your methods will then change. So this is a part of a song. This isn't the part that I'm actually going to be talking about. This is kind of like a verse section um, and I'm going to be doing the chorus after it. So the song itself is kind of... It's, it's a sad song, it's kind of about, I, I guess, kind of depression or at least feeling down or wanting to get better or just being in a bad place or whatever. So, this entire first verse is just kind of trying to make you feel down. It, it's... It's sang in kind of a Nemo style, like the the song itself, so it's kind of, it, it feels a bit sad. So the chorus is going to be a little bit more impactful, a little bit less down in the dumps. So the first line for the chorus that I've already kind of got is, I've got two or three friends now. It's kind of optimistic, It's it feels, um, it feels like you're going onto the upside, it, it feels kind of positive. So, with that line, um, I want, the kind of rhyming pattern that I'm going to do, because you, there's a load of different rhyming patterns that you could do. You could do it so that you have, your first line doesn't rhyme with anything, your second line doesn't rhyme with anything, then your third and fourth line rhyme. You could have it so that your first line doesn't rhyme, but your second and fourth do with each other. You can have it so that your first and third rhyme and your second and fourth rhyme. That's what I'm wanting to do. So if my first line and my third line rhyme and my second line and my fourth line rhyme, I don't need to think about that rhyme kind of yet when I'm writing the second line. So this first line is kind of, it's optimistic. It's kind of saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on the right end of whatever it is that I'm feeling. I've got two or three friends now. It's kind of, it's, it's progress. So with the second line, I kind of want to add a little bit of doubt into that. So I'm going to do that just with one word. I want to start the line with maybe, because obviously that adds doubt to it. That's a, oh, it might happen, whatever it is that I'm about to say. So something along the same lines, something, I don't know, getting back on your feet. Okay, so uh, maybe someday I'll get back on my feet. Maybe someday I'll get on my feet. Okay, so third line. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated because it needs to rhyme now. So I need it to rhyme with the first line. So I've got two or three friends now. What do I want to rhyme with now? Um, so the, so I guess the track's kind of, it's going to be about, about feeling sad, feeling depressed, feeling whatever. So down. Why not down? Use the word down. It kind of rhymes with now depending on how you sing it. So does work in what context though because it doesn't i don't want it to be like oh and i feel down or something like that that feels a little bit too literal i do want to have some literal lyrics in the track but it's not this isn't the line that i want to be literal with so something a little bit more general talking kind of thing so rather than feeling down what about shot down because obviously if, if you are feeling down maybe it's because you get shot down it's because people are talking down to you or whatever it kind of works I guess it also works as a metaphor for um, potential, I don't know, warfare or whatever. I guess that's a metaphor that a lot of people use in songs and stuff like about war and stuff. So I guess that kind of works down to be, don't get shot down. Okay, so how, how do you prevent getting shot down? Something that could be a little bit isolating maybe. What about don't look up or I'll get shot down? So if you do don't look up or I'll get shot down, not only does don't look up feel kind of isolating, it's kind of restricting your movement, but, or you'll get shot down, is like, you're, you're doing this because you don't want to be in a worse place than you currently are, which is kind of like the feeling of the song, kind of works. So the, the next line needs to rhyme with feet. Um, not a great deal that you can rhyme with feet, well, I guess there is, but not much that you can rhyme in context to, to the song or whatever. So, um, a line that I kind of wanted to use was, um, it's the idea of doing show, don't tell. Don't say, I've been crying. Say, tear suck sheet. Something like that. 
So I could just say, oh, I'm late on a tear suck sheet or whatever, but that that first part of the line, if if we just went, if if we had that like this this first part just kind of feels a little bit, I don't know, meaningless. It, it does it doesn't show anything. It's just oh, I'm late or whatever. So what about making ramping up the intensity a little bit, something that adds a little bit more heat into what's currently being said. So if we if we mentioned here where we're saying shot down. What about mentioning something to do with keeping it on the same line, something to do with blood, something like that. Okay, so that instantly ramps up the kind of intensity of what's being talked about. It feels kind of intense, I guess, I guess intense is the right word. Yeah, it, it, so, so it feels kind of more intense. So that's going to be the first half. So I want to kind of keep... So I kind of want to keep the same structure as what was in the verses where it's kind of like two four line sections. So let's do that. So let's keep it going down. What I do want to do is make sure that not only do one and three rhyme, but also they then keep the rhyme going. So all of the odd numbers will rhyme. Okay, so we've got now and down. So we're best off actually rhyming with down rather than directly with now. Obviously, there's there's there are words that totally rhyme and there are words that kind of rhyme. So if we're going to have a total rhyme, we're best off having a total rhyme with down, not a total rhyme with now because it was the most recent word. The the best one that I can kind of think of, and it, it kind of plays into the other lyrics kind of nicely as well, is using something to do with drowning. Something along the lines of something along the lines of keeping my head up so I don't drown. See, not only does that rhyme with the other lines, but the, the last line that it does rhyme with, don't look up or I'll get shot down, and then you've got keeping my head up so I don't drown, they are the exact opposites of each other. One is saying don't look up, the other one is saying keep your head up. So you've got this kind of contradiction, which I guess kind of emotes the same kind of feeling as what I want to do with the song, where it kind of, it feels a little bit restricting, you feel kind of uh, helpless, I guess, and that kind of adds to that because one is kind of saying that something will, bad will happen to you if you do look up but also something will ha bad will happen to you if you don't look up so it's kind of a catch-22 situation that you've got going on where there's there is no solution to the thing that you're currently feeling which i guess is the exact feeling that i'm wanting to portray with this song because with this i'd kind of established that it was going to be, the rhyming was going to carry on going. What I actually wanted to do here was with the sixth line is to not have it rhyme with the second and fourth. So it, it kind of, it goes first line, second line, third line rhymes, fourth line rhymes, fifth line rhymes, sixth line doesn't rhyme. So it kind of makes you feel off. It, it doesn't feel totally right because it's not keeping with the same pattern as before. So that, that then totally opens it up to anything. This line could now be anything. So I kind of wanted to link it in with the line before it. So keeping my head up so I don't drown. So that is obviously it's setting up a thing of a bad thing will happen if you don't if you don't keep your head up. So what about actually saying oh I'm kind of failing at this thing. I I am actually not doing a very good job at not drowning. Okay, so how exactly are we going to say that? Something to do with filling up your throat, something like that because that feels horrible. It feels kind of nasty and a bit like kind of grotesque i guess so filling up your throat the tide is filling up my tightened throat yeah that sounds kind of icky and horrible and not oh. great so i need another line that rhymes with the first line the third line and the fifth line so so a good way to think of a word that rhymes is to not actually think of a word that rhymes and to cheat and go to a website like word hippo so i could say a word that rhymes with drown so at this point, it just gives you a shit ton of words that all rhyme. So you've got one syllable words, you've got two syllable words, and as you get further down, you've got like your five syllable words, which essentially maybe don't pick five syllable words if it's going to feel really odd. If all of your lyrics are very short words, because that's the words that you generally would use, throwing in a very long word is going to stick out like a sore thumb. So don't use them unless you're being quite eloquent with your words at all times. There's a lot of stuff really here that, that I could use in the lyrics. Um, obviously, a lot of this is kind of showing like double barrel stuff. So it's actually using the word down, but putting something before it, which is really, really useful. So they might, I might use something like that. So when, when, when you're using a website like this and you're kind of looking for words that rhyme, it's always good to kind of then try and build your, your sentence backwards. So, okay, so what if I did use bow down okay how could i use bow down what about ball gown how could i use ball gown around that kind of thing and like trying to build what you're trying to say because obviously you know what you're trying to say with your lyrics it's just 
how do I say what I'm trying to say using a sentence that ends with the word around, that kind of thing. So, um, okay, so the idea of having a word and then down on the end of it, but having it as kind of a word that already means something. What about shakedown? So that's kind of like, I guess it's what prisons do. Prisons do shakedowns where it's they're trying to get to the root of a problem and so they just shake everything down. And it's, yeah, it's the idea of, I guess, trying to find a problem. That's essentially what said singer um, is trying to do. That's what that's what the kind of thing is. What What's the problem? Let's try and sort it out. Hence the optimism earlier on. There is hope for sorting it out. Little bit of alliteration, maybe. So something like, Start a self-induced shakedown. That works. Okay, so that this entire thing, like the entirety of the song is very... It's not pointing towards any kind of root of the problem. It's kind of talking about feeling and it's talking about um, how someone is reacting to something as opposed to actually talking about the thing that's gone off. So let's talk just for one line, just for this last line of the chorus, let's hint at something that might have gone on. So it needs to rhyme with the second line of the second half, so it's going to need to rhyme with throat. So once again, let's do some cheating. There's a lot of words, but there's not many that I could use at all in terms of actually making a a cohesive uh, lyric. However, there is goat. Not, not that I actually want to use the word goat in terms of the animal, but scapegoat. Could use scapegoat. So it could have something really, really literal, something like, no longer will I be your scapegoat. So that is then kind of, it's hinting at kind of how this has come about. No longer will I be your scapegoat. I'm not going to be the, the kind of thing that you take the thing. So it's, it works. It works. And it's the only kind of thing that relates to something that might have happened. So that is, I'll uh, make this nice and bold, that is a chorus to a song. That is how I went about kind of writing this chorus and kind of the thought process that I went through for specific lines and how I want things to relate to each other and how I wanted things to kind of contradict each other, like this uh, third line and the fifth line where they contradict. And then the, the sixth line that kind of shows that, oh, you're not actually doing the fifth line thing very well. And yeah, that's kind of how those lyrics were written. I hope this was a little bit helpful and I hope that it kind of gave you a bit of an insight into how you can write lyrics. There are many different ways of writing lyrics. This just happens to be one of them. I hope that was helpful, and uh, we released a song on Saturday, so check back in for that. Have a good day, and see you later.